Hello everyone, this video is about how to root your Android device Android 11 Poco F2 Pro and it also works on Android 10 as well. You can see here it is Android 11 and I have successfully rooted it using Magisk. You can see here it also passes check safety net and it is also rooted. You can see here the super user icon. Now I will show you how I did this. All you need to do is first unlock your bootloader. To unlock your bootloader first go into your settings. Click on MIUI version 5 or 6 times and it will enable developer options. Then go into the settings, additional settings and developer option. Click on OEM unlocking. As you can see give it your password and click on MI unlock status and add your device. Make sure your data is on and not your Wi-Fi. Only your data should be on and add account and device. After doing this, all you have to do is just download ADB from your computer. Install it. Link is available in XDA website. Here you can see I have downloaded and installing it. Also download Xiaomi bootloader unlock tool. It is also needed. Meanwhile I am installing ADB from the installer I have downloaded. It will ask for administrative access as you can see that blank screen it will it was asking for administrative access press y again and again and it will installing drivers after that install Xiaomi bootloader unlock tool as you can see the downloading has been installed and now we will extract it and open it after doing it, I will go into the additional settings and will turn on USB debugging. It will ask for threat, just click on continue and continue again and again. As you can see after turning on USB debugging, just extract Xiaomi bootloader unlock tool and I already have extracted it since I will open it now. and can see here give it your Xiaomi ID in it make sure your Xiaomi account ID will be matching it on the same ID you have added into your phone both account in the phone and on the software must be same and you can see here the ADB folder has been appeared after installing ADB drivers it will not appear if you have not installed ADB okay so you must remember this <coughs> after doing this Connect your cell phone and click on ADB devices. A prompt will appear on your mobile screen like this and click on allow. After doing this, click on ADB devices and it will show your devices. And then we will turn your phone into the bootloader mode by typing fast boot space reboot. Sorry, as you can see here, I am going into the bootloader mode by typing adb reboot bootloader. And your phone will appear like this on the screenshot below. After doing this, your device will be rebooted into fast boot mode. 
and then we will open Xiaomi bootloader unlock tool and click on unlocking first we have to add our own account the Xiaomi account we already have added into our phone into this software both account must be same after sign in it will ask to unlock bootloader when you will click on unlocking the process it will ask to wait for 168 hours which means 7 days after 7 days we will open again Xiaomi bootloader unlock tool and repeat the same procedure meanwhile we will go and download Xiaomi firmware make sure the Xiaomi firmware you are using onto your phone must be matching exactly you are running for example I am running MIUI 12.2.4 RGMI XM so I will download that firm which is currently running into our phone and will extract the boot image from that file so we will download it and open it here you can see the boot.img and I will extract it and will transfer this file into my phone meanwhile i will also install magisk manager <coughs> we need this boot.img to patch by using magisk manager now i will connect my phone and will copy this file we also need safety next fix module letter so i will also copy that file and download it into our phone to download magisk manager just type magisk manager onto the google and you can see here that's how i will install the apk file and will transfer it into my phone the downloading will start shortly as you can see here and I will also download safety net fix module by kdragon make sure your spelling are specific after downloading it just copy it into your phone both the files and if you have any question you can ask in the comments now I will install magisk manager I have copied into the phone and I will install it I already have installed it so all you have to do is open magisk install magisk and patch a file the boot.img I already have transferred into our phone and another boot.img will be added into our phone into the download folder go into the download folder and you will see the magisk patch.img Yes, copy it into the ADB folder into the C drive of our <coughs> phone. <coughs> then I will later rename it into the magisk.img. Meanwhile, I will open CMD. Using this CMD, I will go into the ADB folder. As you can see, I am in system32 folder and I need to go into this C drive adb folder and first we name the file into magic.img and then go to the adb folder by doing so I will type cd dot dot then again do the same and then I will type cd space adb then I will transfer my phone into the bootloader mode in short fast boot mode to do that i will type adb space reboot space bootloader and our phone will go into the fast boot mode after doing that so i will type fast boot space boot fast boot space flash space boot space magisk.img and the file will be flat into our phone I already have done so so I am not doing that but you need to 
press enter after magisk.img and reboot your phone after re 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 rebooting your phone open magisk and your phone will be rooted then you need to install magisk module from the storage safety net fix module to pass safety net and then again reboot your phone and your phone will be completely rooted thank you for watching my video